so we have another abortion bill, anti-abortion bill, in uh, in Arkansas that's uh, uh, that's coming up here. And the fear that a lot of people have is, uh, you know, what, what will what will probably happen is uh, people will find a way to get the abortion. What what Arkansas is doing is not only is it criminalizing uh, abortions in general, which they don't have any right to do because abortion has been legal in America since like I think the 1800s or something like that. Um, they are also criminalizing the doctors, which I believe a couple other states have tried to do. Uh, it's like five years in prison and ten thousand dollar fine, or a hundred thousand dollar fine, or something along those lines, which is ridiculous. You're 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 penalizing uh, someone for doing their job, right? Uh, again, we we let Jeff Bezos not pay taxes, but we're like, hey, doctors that need to provide provide this service to to women who have chosen to do a particular thing with their body are going to be penalized uh, a massive amount of money and and be, be thrown in prison. Uh, priorities in America seem to, uh, not exist. Uh, so, but the fear now is, let's say that there is a court case that comes up and it moves up and it goes into the Arkansas Supreme court. And then it, it, it goes into the, to the actual Supreme court. Um, I, I did a whole show that'll be released later in the year about the inner workings of the Supreme court in and of itself. Um, and why uh, the courts have as much power as they do, uh, why it shouldn't have as much power as they do, and why we shouldn't hinge everything on on Supreme Court decisions uh, because they 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 are the last ones to follow suit on any sort of major civil rights argument. They're the last ones to come through on it. Um, but the the Supreme Court makes a choice to oversee cases to make decisions on cases right uh because they get hundreds and hundreds of cases that come through their desk and they go mm, that one uh which is also interesting because you know they chose to make a decision on citizens united they chose to make a, a decision and there was a period where where they were siding with civil rights laws such as roe v wade such as brown versus board of education uh which were helping make progress in our society um and the concern now is roe v wade will be overturned and you know people won't be able to make decisions uh, about their bodies anymore and that is a concern uh right now i think there's a case in ohio that's moving up uh the the ladder and there might be another case and i can't remember where exactly it is um so so this is a this is a concern it's it it, it can be uh incredibly scary Here's what it will boil down to. If Roe gets overturned, which I, I which is going to be very difficult for them to make the argument because it's a 14th Amendment argument, right? It basically says that everybody is granted uh, the rights from the Constitution, which includes the Fourth Amendment, which is a right to privacy, which is a right to your own body, which is the right to do what you will in your own home. Um, so. Uh, It'll be a difficult argument to make for the conservative side because they uphold the Constitution so much. But let's say it does pass and they, and they overturn Roe v. Wade. It'll all go down to the states. And the states will each make a decision on how they want to deal with the topic of abortion. Is it a women's right issue? Is it a 14th Amendment to the Fourth Amendment issue? Um, or, or are they going to look at it as sanctity of life? Now, a lot of conservative states will look at it as the sanctity of life and put draconian laws like the one we're seeing in Arkansas. But let's not forget that in 2019, this already fucking happened. There was state after state. I think it was like Kentucky, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, Missouri. Um, I'm probably missing one or two. And if you remember uh, what, who those, what those states are, please leave them in the comments. Uh, and if I didn't, hey, cool, uh, I, I nailed it. But uh, <laughs> they all put these draconian, dark ages, fucking uh, horrific anti-abortion laws that, you know, force women who were raped to have the, the baby and all this other stuff. And, and I get it. They're, you know, it's like abortion, uh, ad abortion, fuck, I'm staring at the screen, it's just abortion. Um, Adoption does exist, but 
it still means that someone who didn't mean to get pregnant, who doesn't want to have the child, who doesn't want to go through the physical um, physical pains of of having a child to have the child. So, you know, you're you're sitting there and saying, well, the government shouldn't tell people what to do with their body. But you, but but that's what you're advocating for. You're advocating 100 percent for the government to tell people what to do with their body by making people have kids that they don't want to have. Fine, if that's the case, then you should also make vasectomies illegal. Let's see how quickly some of these fucking white old white men in Congress are going to fucking line up with the vasectomy argument. If we're like, yeah, well, you can't cut your ball bags anymore. And that's, I think, how we should phrase it. You can't cut your ball bags anymore. What are they going to do? You got to, you know, and also no condoms, right? Like you're going to cut. But and that's that's where the argument goes is they'll go. Well, what about the contraception argument? Well, shouldn't contraception be readily available for people who are going to be sexually active then? And they go, uh, what, in the God, I don't know. No. This kind of shit is already happening is, is kind of the point that I'm making. Um, so Roe v. Wade being overturned, again, this goes into enforcement of the laws, right? Uh, states, the states that have these draconian fucking anti-abortion laws shouldn't have them in the first place. They shouldn't be allowed to be passed. And the second that something like this comes on any sort of state Congress floor, a uh, state senator, state rep uh, House of Representatives floor, it should immediately be squashed. On a federal level. And if you're a congressman that's going to bring th that shit up, then you should be penalized for it. But again, none of this stuff is enforced, right? So states like that get away with closing down uh, facilities that help women get services when we have a healthcare industry uh, that essentially, even though you have insurance, you're going to fucking be in medical debt for the rest of your life. All right, let's look at what uh, some of y'all are saying. Uh, Mark, hi, Mark. We should also make it illegal to remove a tumor that is that's as much uh, a life as a fetus. Uh, yeah, I guess you could make that argument. I, I don't, I don't know where I stand on that argument about life and conception and and all that kind of stuff. Cluster of cells. Yeah, I, I know it, it's it's kind of nuts uh, that that people are like the second the egg and the sperm they collide it's life and it's like i don't know if, if if it is sentient life um you know you can make the argument for bacteria but then it's like are we gonna not kill bacteria you can make a case for viruses are we not gonna kill viruses that d d you know are plagues to humanity <laughs> uh holly remember dr sepian slep slepian uh, provider in New York who was murdered. I don't, I don't know about this. Uh, I will have to look into this. Uh, if you have a link, you feel free to, uh, put, uh, put, put the link in the comments there. Uh, got Louisiana was the first, then we had Texas as well. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mark and Holly for, for adding those States. Yeah. Uh, I miss Louisiana and Texas. Jesse, funny that Republicans were the first to advocate for legalization, uh, because they felt that the it was in the government's place to interfere in medical decisions. Right. Uh, that's that's always what it is. It's it's sort of this hypocrisy of uh, you you don't want government intervention, but here it is. The government is intervening to tell you that you have to have this baby, like you have to do this thing with your body. Um, it, it's this hypocrisy that's never completely made any sense to me. Uh, nice that the Republican Party decided to be the Christian Party. Yeah, the cr Christian should be in quotes there because they're actually not uh, a, a, a Christian Party. They don't stand by the uh, the teachings of of G. I don't remember uh, Jesus advocating to uh, put seven hundred and forty billion dollars into a military budget. Do you guys? Am I missing a a, a a gospel there? Was it the gospel of the ever expanding endless war? Uh, was it the, is there a gospel of tell women what to do with their bodies? Uh, is there a gospel of demonized black people? I don't, I don't remember these gospels being in the Bible. Anyway, uh, Mark, maybe every man should undergo a reversible vasectomy at puberty 
then it can be reversed when they're ready to have kids. Possibly, that's actually <laughs> maybe, but again, it, it you know uh, they'll they'll look at a law like this, and they'll and they'll be like, oh, this is the intervention of but what Jesse was saying, intervention of can't let the uh, government make medical decisions, blah 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 blah. You know, it's all bullshit. It's just the hypocrisy of it all. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, uh, that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.